Hi class, I wanted to show you a video of how we can use a truth table to determine whether or not an argument is valid. So from section 15.5, example 1b in our notes, it says, use a truth table to determine the validity of the argument below. Premise 1, P or Q. Premise 2, R and P. Conclusion, Q. So remember we begin by creating a truth table, having a column for every single letter represented, P, Q, and R. Remember to start that off, we have our P column with half true, half false. There are eight rows total since there were three letters. Our Q column, true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. And our R column oscillates one by one. True, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Then we next go and create a column for every premise. Our first premise was P or Q, so we create a column P or Q. Our second premise was R and P, we create a column for R and P. So let's do that. P or Q, looking at P, looking at Q, true or true is true. True or true is true. True or false is true. True or false, true. False or true, true. False or true, true. The remaining three will both be false. The remaining two will be false. False or false? False. False or false? False. Going to our second premise column, R and P, we see we have the P here and the R here. True and true? True. True and false? False. True and true? True. True and false? False. False and true? False. False and false? False. False and true? False. False and false? False. So we fill in our falses. So in that column we had T, F, T, F, 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 F. Next we put our premises together with the conjunction AND. Premise 1 AND premise 2. Looking at the premise 1 column, looking at the premise 2 column. True and true, true. True and false, false. True and true, true. The remainder will all be false. And finally, we look at our implication column. Our premises together, P, premise 1 and premise 2, do they in fact always imply the conclusion? Will this be a tautology? So we take a look at this P1, premise 1, and premise 2 column and ask ourselves if it in fact implies the conclusion, which in this case was Q. So does this premise 1 and premise 2 column together, true, imply true? That is a true statement. False implies anything is true. But here's the kicker. True implies false. Remember, true implies false is the one case where an if-then statement is false. So right here we see this cannot be a tautology because to be a tautology, the entire column would have to be true. So this is where it fails. If you continue on, you'd see in this column we have false implies anything. So these would all be trues. But one, once you have a, at least one false in the column, it's no longer a tautology. So we say, no, this is not a tautology. And since it's not a tautology, this is an invalid argument. OK, so in order to be a valid argument, our premises together with the conjunction would have to give us the conclusion every single time. It would have to be a tautology in that column. Since it was not, since we had at least one false, then this argument is said to be invalid. 
So truth tables are a helpful way to check an argument versus having a column for every premise, putting those together with an and, seeing whether or not the and of your premises, the conjunction of your premises, does in fact always imply your conclusion. Is it an implication? And if so, you would have a valid argument. So that concludes um, this example. I hope you have fun practicing uh, and checking for yourself whether or not you have a valid argument using truth tables and also using standard forms of arguments that are in our book and our notes. Wish you the best of luck. Happy practicing.